Mr. Etiosa Iwodao said he chose the Ogwedion to make the denier before the ancestors, elders, and members of Iowa community. He explained that after the death of the immediate past Odionwe of the community, Pa Edeao Obaze took over as Odionwe without due process, pointing out that when the issue came up in the palace of the Oba of Benin, he was directed as the Okairile to join hands with the elders to parlour the affairs of the community until it is time for Pa Obaze to be installed as Odionwe. Mr. Iwodao, who said Pa Edeao Obaze does not own a house in Iowa and therefore does not reside in the community challenge him to come out and swear to an oath if he ever attacked him as alleged. I am appealing to Omonomba Ewari II to invite me and Samson Ederao. If it is true that I, Apasado Etiosa Iwodaro, the Okagele of Iyawa, actually drove Samson Ederao Obaze and his group out of this community. He will go there with his senior son, I will go there with my senior son. Then we'll go to the Shira and swear. Oba Atokbe! The Ohimbo of Iowa and some elders, including a former secretary of the community, comment on the development. Allegation is do Tara. Oh, you are. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Where are you? The Obaze SC who came to the television to allege that the Okaigele Ambassador Etusa Iwodaro drove him away from Yorwa is not telling the truth. Ambassador Etusa did not drive anybody from Yorwa. Pa Edeao Obaze had earlier alleged that the Okaele, Mr. Etiosa Iodao, drove him out of Iowa community. Ikmomosa Ugiagwe reporting.